Hi everyone, my name is Splash Effect, and I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to play Exion, your, kind of your first day in the game. And we're going to start by doing the character creation. And so, first off, you can customize your sex and your age and everything. It doesn't matter if you're male or female, your stats are going to be the same. Um, it's not my birthday, I just kind of picked a random day. Um, so, first thing off, your height actually has an influence on the game. Whether you're tall or short has an effect. So, if you're really short, your minimum weight is going to change. Or actually, your maximum weight is going to change. What that means is that if you're taller, you can get a lot heavier in game than you would if you're shorter. Now, the difference here is that, and if you are heavier, if you're fat in the game, you will burn energy faster, and you will um, you will be slower. But, it also means you're going to be able to carry more weight. You can customize all this, amber eyes, skin hue, very odd colors in here, that's for sure. Anyways, so, hairstyles, let's just pick one. Yeah, there we go. Beardy man. And we'll go like that. So, so these actually have an effect on you. So we're going to go, and we're going to be really skinny and really small. And this is what like most of the, the usual players do, is they'll go really small so they're good for combat. And I think you run faster too. So now you go into stat points. You get 100 stat points when you start the game. Um, and what these stat points do is they affect all sorts of things. They affect your, um, your ability to fight, your crafting, and all sorts of things. So strength is obviously for fighting and how hard you hit and everything. We're at, but it also affects how well you chop down trees. Now there's a wiki online if you're looking to like get really in depth with it, then you can change all sorts of things. Right now I'm just gonna put in a bunch of different ones, like just fill it up so I don't have any extras. And so yeah, and the next thing is that you have these next ones up here in the corner. This one, this corner up here. You have, and I just put a bunch of agility. Anyways, you have your starting stats. Now these aren't things that you are specifically you have to you have to master in the game. These aren't going to affect what your end game is. It is affecting your the beginning of the game. So if I start with armed, com if I start with one of these, these don't matter. But these are going to give you an extra 25 points. Or it's a lot like Ultima Online. Everything is point and stat based. So therefore, if I start with armed combat, I'm going to start with 25 points as opposed to the base of 5. Now your weapon skill means that if you pick one of these, you're going to start with that weapon. I'm going to pick axes because axes have multiple uses. You can use them to kill people and you can use them to chop down trees. Now this skill here, which is um, just one of your foraging skills. Now it doesn't say that specifically, but it is. It's a resource skill. That means, <laughs> as you can see, resource skills are like literally skills that allow you to get resources in the game. So foraging lets you muck around in the dirt and find berries and such. Fishing, which is a very useful starting skill, almost every new player should just should take this, gives you a fishing rod and actually gives you fishing, like the ability to catch fish. Level 5 fishing is terrible and you'll never catch a fish, it takes so long to do, it's very difficult. So I'm going to start with this, very useful, and I'm going to show you guys how to fish. Um, the next ones, forestry, I already have an axe, I don't really need it, it's not insanely important. <sighs> okay, uh, but I'm not going to take that. Foraging, like I said, lets you find berries and stuff like that, and I'm going to go more in depth on how how your skills affect the, how, what kind of items you get. Uh, hiding, not really my big priority. Hunting, hunting isn't what it sounds like. It may seem like you're trying to get what you're going to be doing is like hunting animals with this. This like actually determines what kind of items you get from animals when you go and let's say you're looting them. Logging determines the amount on um, what kind of logs you get, quality. Resources are literally things you pick up the ground, whether they be rocks or things like that. Scavenging is, this is your kind of like old world skill. Like this is you're finding old world tech, not really tech, but items. So whether it be like nails and stuff like that, stuff that isn't made anymore. Terraforming is in itself what it sounds like. It's moving the earth, 
creating it, filling it up, taking it down, all that stuff. Not very useful at the beginning of the game. So I'm going to take scavenging because I like starting with scavenging because it really boosts that first part of the game. Um, now there's a crafting skill. So you have basketry, which is very easy to level early on, so I'm not going to take that. Bone craft, which is very difficult to level, and unless you're a very good fighter. Leather craft, which is generally easy, but doesn't provide very good armor. It, it's modest armor. Masonry is the creating of stones and such. That's pretty easy to level and it's not very useful at the beginning of the game. Tailoring is uh, making twine, which is very important in the game, uh, but also easy to level if you have enough resources. Toolcraft, very useful, very needed at the end of the game. Wainwright, this is building carts. Weaponcraft, very difficult to level, not also very useful early game, but it's up to you really. Honestly, you can pick anything and you're going to be able to start with this. Like, it doesn't matter what you pick here. So I'm going to pick, what do I want to pick? We will go Leathercraft. And then you just pick your stuff. So I like Lumberjack, and Camel Pants, and some of Sneakers. And we are going to start at Round Hill. And we're going to select my name. We're going to do test dummy. Okay. Uh, oh, I just did that. Let's do Okay, check name. Awesome. Okay, that's great. So, while I'm loading, which I'm about to, which is a terrible loading screen, I'm sorry, and we all know this, whoever plays this game, we all know that the first loading screen, not ever, just in general, is awful. Anyways, so while we're waiting, I'm gonna go over some stuff. So, we just went over character creation and stats, went over scavenging and crafting. We're about to go over scavenging and crafting, actually, my mistake. First tutorial video, first video really ever. I've done some streaming, but this is pretty new to me. We go over the scavenging and the crafting in the game. Little tips and tricks here and there to make it easier and to make it so that your life is just not miserable. We go over the interface, we go over using the map, and we're gonna go over gathering resources. Now, the interface is a little bit tricky, but once you get the hang of it, it makes it a lot simpler, and this is why I'm making this guide. I'm making this guide because I have a lot of people that I recruit. We have a tribe of four people, uh, four we have a coalition of tribes that are all together and that we're working together. We're all separate. We all have premium accounts. This game is free, by the way. There's no need to buy the game unless you absolutely want to. I would suggest it because it's really supporting the developers and it is such a fun game once you get into it. Anyways, as you can see, I'm still loading. Fortunately, it is one of the worst parts of the game is the loading screen. But when you're in game, there are no more loading screens after this and I'm pretty sure they're going to try and streamline this process. They don't have a lot of money to do it. They tried doing a kickstart. Unfortunately, it wasn't very successful. They're thinking of doing another one. They're actually on Steam Greenlight right now. So if you want to, if you like what you see, you played a little bit of the game, you want to see it thrive, I would definitely upload it on stream, Steam Greenlight. Ugh, Greenlight. Ugh, sorry. Anyways, here we are. Okay, so this is the game. Now I have it on low graphics because I have a terrible computer. But as you can see here, this is the world. And I'm sorry if I lag a little bit, but I'm sorry. yeah, I'm just sorry. Anyways, so as you can see, everything seems dark and much. That's because it's actually fall right now. I'm gonna bring out the map. And you're gonna see here this little icon that shows you the temperature and everything. And that's getting in a map. So we're getting a little bit ahead of ourselves here. Still. Anyways, so first. Let's just dive into scavenging. So, you see you have this little bar down here, and this tells you everything that you need. You got stats, your skills, your inventory, which is you. Look, I'm so small. It's cute. Uh, and your packs. Now, your packs are very important. This is where you're going to manage most of your inventory. So, like most games, you have different slots and stuff. And you can see here there's people on, um, and they're already talking and stuff. And there's a, and there is an active community. There's always people on. There's always people willing to play. It's a great community. Developers are awesome. Anyways, so as I just see, I opened my pack up and look what I have. I have stuff in it already. But depending on the um, uh, the skills I picked first, I have the items for them, or the general items for them. Anyways, 
So you can see here all my stats. So these are the ones I picked. All this stuff here. Other crafting. Anyways, so let's keep going. Okay, so first off, this is the resource. This is very important. So now it kind of pops up and there's nothing there. Now, but if I walk over the grass, all of a sudden I can pick up grass. Picking up grass is very easy, very simple, and but it's one of the building blocks of the game. <laughs> and you're gonna do this a million times by the end of it, right? So you picked your first piece of grass. Now you're like, what do I do with it, right? What you do is you open your actions. These are your action bars. These are everything. They go from fishing, foraging, logging, scavenging. Some of them are crafting abilities. Some of them are literally actions. Oh, I need my fishing pole. One second. And then I will explain how this all works out. Some are literally actions, like fishing. I'm just gonna cast my line. Do, 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 do. And so yeah. Now another one of these is the actual crafting system. And I'm sorry it's a slow process, but I'm like done. Watch me not catch a fish on the first try. <gasps> oh, I failed to catch anything, of course. Anyways. So let's make something in basketry. So here's the crafting tape, the crafting, one of the crafting screens here. So it shows you all the different recipes you have. Now recipes are gained by doing actions, like actually doing the crafts, right? Unlike most games where it's just like automatic at this level, you get it. It's kind of like, a, a, it's a it's a random occurrence. It doesn't happen all the time. Sometimes you'll get like five recipes in a row. Sometimes you won't. Kind of depends on where your level is. If your level's high enough, then you have a better chance of getting it. Sometimes it'll take a long time. Sometimes you can't just get them from doing this. It has to be done through other actions in the game, which I'll explain later. So now you see that I've clicked on this and one of the biggest things in this game that I thought was crazy and, it, and once I figured this out I was like oh my god I can't believe I've been doing this the whole time is that usually I would drag this here. Now there's a faster way of doing this and you'll realize this later when you're spamming skills and stuff. You can just right click this and then you can craft. So now I'm crafting thread. Thread is one of the most basic things in the game. It goes to my backpack and now I've this grass thread that I made myself. Look, crafted by Test Dummy. I'm so proud. Anyways, so another thing. So now I'm standing on sand. So everything can be resourced in this game. Anything you're standing on, you don't need any specific item just to get it. You can just pick it up. Now, de de determining whether or not you have the skills that are, like, if you're good at resources, like I said in the skills, you're going to get better stuff. Now, the quality of items is depending all on your skills. So if I have a really good gathering, then I'm gonna get really good grass. And it's like, it's the same thing for everything, right? Okay, so now I'm gonna go over these little bars here. So we have health, energy, hunger, comfort, faith, which is not implemented, your swing power, which is combat, which is, by the way, quick tip, because most people don't realize this, combat is C. You press C, you hold the mouse button, and then you swing, which I don't suggest for new players, just going around swinging at people because you will most likely die. All right, a couple of things. You can't die from starvation. You can't die from hunger, or sorry, starvation. You can't die from thirst. You can't drown. So as you can see here, I have this little energy bar. As I'm sprinting here, my energy is going down. Eventually that will run out. When it does, you are, you're gonna become exhausted and you'll start panting and you'll stop until that energy recharges to a certain point and that point then you can actually start moving it. So it's difficult if you get exhausted and you start stop moving, very vulnerable. You have to be careful of this. The thing if you're trying to get around, roads make you run faster. Okay, while I'm doing this, and here's one of the towns. Every town is player created, so this is a really big town. It's pretty cool, but I, I don't generally see a lot of people in it, which is, I find odd, even though it's supposed to be huge. Okay, so, what am I getting at? Okay, so crafting. I kind of showed you how crafting works. Sometimes you need tools to craft, other times you don't. Like the thread, it's literally you just pick apart grass until you make thread. So, easy enough, you can do it with your hands. Other stuff, such as leather craft. I will open up right now see here I can make 
the cavern moccasins, which I need a craft knife, a needle, and these things here. I need leather, leather straps, and thread, which all can be made by me. And but the thing is, I have to find them. So actually, hmm, let's see how I'm gonna do this. Crafting is a finicky one in this game. Okay, we're gonna try and make some boots here. Okay, toolcraft is very important. Uh, a good tip: mallets are the exact same exact same thing as a hammer because you need an awl to make a hammer, but you need a hammer to make an awl. Very complicated, I know, crazy. Oh yeah. So you might have noticed that the top here, I have six out of 58 schemes. What schemes are, are they the blueprints for your items that you can create, right? Your stats affect how many you can have of schemes. Eventually, you will cap out. That's why there's the unlearned button. Kinda handy, right? Anyways, I'm gonna keep going. So, as you've noticed, I've gone over different kinds of things and different resources have popped up. Now this here is a scrap pile. Oh, now there's the good stuff, right? Look at that scrap of leather. Now what you can do, this is how you pick it up. You right click on the item, by the way. Once you pick it up, you're gonna have something on your back, just like the grass was on your back, right? This is how you scavenge. You pick up items, and then what you have to do is you get these big bundles of them, right? Once you get these bundles, you can sort through them. When you sort through them, they go into your inventory, and you kind of get a random bits and pieces of this, bits and pieces of that. When you go into metal, it's like you get nails, you get screws, you get rivets, it's all this stuff, right? But it's one of the building blocks of the game. It's You have to go through these resources, and you have to sort through them, and you find the good stuff, right? Now there are two ways of scavenging these piles. There's the general where you pick up this, you sort through it, and you get these little bits here. Or there's the skill. It's called scavenging. It's literally a button. Like fishing, it's an action. Now this action can be done anywhere in the game. It doesn't matter if you're on grass, doesn't mean matter if you're on we well, you can't do it on water, but you can do it here. Now when you do that, like the grass, like fishing, it has a fail rate. You may find something, you may not. Now see how I'm going to sort through this metal. Do to do. <coughs> Excuse me. And oh look, I found iron knob, steel bolt, iron nails, and aluminum screws. Now it varies. I'm not going to get the same drop every time. But different piles have different rates on stuff. This pile has been known for nails and that kind of thing. Or it's gone to another pile where I've gotten nothing but rivets. It's insanity. But it kind of balances the game out. So you want to travel around, see what you like, see if you can find a specific pile that's going to get you the stuff that you need. So, gone over scavenging, gone over crafting. Oh, one more thing. Very important. Now, I were to pick up stuff on this one spot. You see how there's kind of like patches that are empty? Every spot that you go to has four maximum times you can take resources from it. And then once you do that, it's over. It's gone and you can't get this resource back. It's very important when you run around on these kind of piles because these are like finite resources. You must make sure you must that you don't take it all. Or one day in this game, there will be no more. And ironic enough, the apocalypse, right? Anyway. I'm just gonna demonstrate this and I'm gonna toss all this stuff out because it's gonna be very heavy. Did I finish this? Oh yeah, so this last bar is your encumbrance. The higher this is, the slower you move, obviously, and the faster your energy drops. Okay, so what happened? It didn't go away. Huh? <laughs> I bugged the system. I thought it was four. It might be a little bit more. Anyways, try not to go over four at any point. It's very dangerous. Eh, anyways. Oh yeah. So what I'm actually doing is I'm making my way to my actual tribe. To show you guys kind of what the landscape looks like, what the game is like, all that. So, now you kind of have an idea of what the interface looks like, what the different things and all the buttons do, how to get water. And, uh, see this is a terraforming project that someone made and just kind of made this path. It's kind of cool. And you know how to get water. 
which is, uh oh, resources. Well, you just have to be on the edge of the water. You can't drink water while you're swimming. And this is how you drink water. You literally right click it and you'll take a drink and keep going, right? So, okay, keep going. We've gone over crafting, We've gone over all this stuff. Now, what's next? So, inter the map. Okay, that's right. So, here's our map. Now, most people, if you're ever looking for someone or if people are looking for you, you have these coordinates up here. You have four numbers. First number is your zone. Now, zones are divided in a grid. So, the top here, let's say, let's say down here, in this corner here is one. It's gonna go up to 12, and then it's gonna start, it's not gonna start over at like, it's not, it's gonna keep going. So, if here is 12, this is gonna be 13. So, it's kind of finicky, because you'll go in one zone and you won't realize that you're actually you go down and you're looking for 900 you go down one and all of a sudden you're at 860 so it's very it's it's confusing sometimes but once you get the hang of it it's very easy so the idea is that it's all gridded out and then you have boxes in which every zone is so that's your first one that's your zone area now the next two numbers are your like longitude and latitude in those ones right so the first one is your east to west. So this is your west, this is your east. So it kind of determines your position on there. You see, as I move towards the east, the number goes up. I move towards the west, the number goes down. The same thing goes for the next number, except now it's north and south. The higher you, the further you go north, the higher the number gets. Now, fourth number, that's elevation. The lower you go, the lower the number goes. That's not important when you're finding people, not generally. And another cool thing is that you can sprint in this game while you're over half energy. And that kind of just gets you around quicker. So, what do you do when you get in this game? Like, you, you can do anything you want. You can start making grass, like big piles like this guy has done. Or you can ask for help in the chat, be like, Oh hi, I'm new. Can you please help me? And then five people be like, dude, just ask specific questions. And you're gonna be like, oh, I feel sad now because people don't like me. And I'm just gonna go troll my buddy here. So, Original is very nice. Anyways, so this is one of our tribes. This one's very new. He's just piling resources on. I'm gonna sneak attack him. Oh, bam! So this is one of my buddies. And, hi. And he's gonna invite me to this tribe. <laughs> he doesn't know who I am. Actually, he's on Skype right now. Ah, anyways, so, what you can do is join a tribe. And by joining a tribe, you get all the benefits of what they give you. And there's different rankings in a tribe that the tribe leader gets. Oh my god, you can't, no, I'm leaving him now. You can't even guess who I am. Disappointed. So, what you can do is you can join a tribe, and when you join a tribe, you get to build bases and everything. Unfortunately, you can't start your own tribe unless you have a paid account, but it's worth it, honestly, and there's tons of tribes around. If you want to join mine, I'm always willing. My in-game name is Flash Effect. I'll leave it in the comments so you guys can figure it out. Anyways, this is, this is pretty much the basics of the game. You're going to be able to get by, you're going to be able to find food, you're going to be able to who gather resources you're gonna know little tips and tricks on how the well how to craft and everything so this is our camp here and you can build and that's me I logged in and I kind of afk so I could show you guys this so I'm gonna show you how to join a tribe so oh, no, that's wrong. so you're like hey can I have some help now this guy's gonna be like oh Sure, you look new and helpless. I invite you to my tribe. 
and then you're gonna be like, thank you very much for helping me out. Yay, I'm in her tribe. And now you have access to nothing because people don't trust anybody in this game because everyone steals. But if you're nice to people, get along with people, just be friendly, and eventually they'll actually let you touch their stuff. Anyways, oh, one more thing. This is what chopping a tree is like. Oh, great. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm a terrible video maker, and I, this is very long, and I feel very bad. Thank you for bearing with me and watching this, if you are. One important thing when you're looking at the inventory is that you have all these different slots. Those are your armor. You may not know where stuff goes, which a lot of us don't. Quick trip, tip, you drag the actual item onto yourself. Instead of having to click on every one, it'll just equip it in the proper slot. If you want to use a fishing rod and you can't, it's probably because you don't have it in your right hand, or it means that you have something in the other hand. You have to have the hand one hand empty at least when you're trying to do an action such as fishing or trying to chop down a tree which I will show you now. It works the same way as fishing you pick one of the skills that is appropriate for it which is logging. It'll tell me I need to face a nearby tree which I will and then it takes forever and eventually the tree falls over you feel like a badass because a big tree just fell over. Anyways, so that's pretty much the basic theme Thanks for watching guys, good night, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.